So folks, it was 80 degrees three days ago. This morning I woke up frost on the inside of my windows. On the inside of my window, son. It's all right. We're good. We're tough. We're survivors. We survived 16 degrees nights. We can survive 32 degrees. talk about, mm, I don't know, coaching success, more than, like, my client is getting, I have a weight loss client, she is getting, I kind of disguise weight loss, you're going to lose weight, but you're going to get healthy, I'm like, I'm helping you get healthy, she is seeing some results, and that's good. I don't, I don't want to even talk about that, right? She's seeing results in her blood sugar and her uh, the way she feels, and not her weight because she's not weighing herself, but in her her body comp as far as uh, the way her clothes are fitting, the way people are are asking her if she's losing weight, and the difference she sees in a picture just from one week to the next, right? So that's cool. But what's really cool for me, what I think is cool, is how I'm honing my skills as a coach. I'm getting better. Like when I first started being a coach, I'm like, I'm a coach. I coach people. I'll tell you what to do. And I started telling people what to do, and people started like, mm, I don't like being told what to do. They didn't say that, but they just didn't hire me again, right? <laughs> and, and I thought that I'm giving up. I'm not going to be a coach. I'm not a good coach. Coaching sucks. But I still have that desire to help people, to want to help people. And I have this ability to teach and to show people. And and more than anything else, like I have this deep down desire to help people. I always have. And if I can help people, that door ain't even closed. What's up with this? Why ain't this door closing right? If I have this ability to help people, I want I want to do it. And so I was about to give up on being a coach. But then I realized, you know what? I want to be a coach. I'm not going to give up just because I'm not good at it. I'll get better at it. I'll get good at it. I'll train. I'll read books. I'll do audio programs. I'll do whatever it takes because I want this to happen. I want it in my life, right? Hey, man, get off that cooler. Get off. He stands on the cooler, and then when I hit the brakes, he tips it over. We've gone through this before. So as I'm working with my client, uh, and it's one-on-one -on -one because she's here in Tucson and I'm here in Tucson, other than that, it would be uh, Skypes, Skypes or phone calls. Skypes or phone calls. So I'm working with her and I have to, here's the key, here's the key. I can't tell her what to do. I can't tell her, don't eat donuts. She has to come to the conclusion not to eat donuts, right? Or that's not, not her, it's any case, right? In, in any case, you can't tell people what to do. You have to let them decide what to do. So... And I'm also hiding weight loss coaching with life coaching. Like, I don't want to help people have better lives. People think, like, they'll have a better life if they weigh less. They look better. But there's more to that, right? So here's the thing. I'm watching the light bulbs go off. And this is what you... See what I'm talking about? I'm watching the light bulb bulbs go off. And my clients as they determine what they need to do themselves, right? Right? Oh. Right, this is the same thing that used to happen and <coughs> why why I enjoyed my job as a as an instructor. When I used to teach, I used to see the light bulbs go off on people. I can't make this sound. What's with all that sound? Noise and shit. <laughs> Anyways, 
I am like getting better as a coach and I see myself getting better and I see the work, the progress that it's making and it's really, really good. And I really, really enjoy it. I enjoy it. That's it. It's coffee time.